Rob Walden along with head coach Barkley Rado Ball. Coach, a 62 to 54 win tonight. You guys are back at 500 overall and in conference play. After Saturday's loss to Presbyterian, you were very critical of your team's execution. Didn't feel like they really did the things you set out to do during practice. So tonight, after an eight-point win, grade your team's execution. Uh, average at best. I mean, just average at best. 15 turnovers in the in the uh, in the first half. This was a gut out win. I mean, it was nothing but a gut out win. It wasn't pretty. Um, uh, Asheville's very, very hard to guard. They're a very, very good team. Um, seven wins coming into it, and uh, our execution in the second half was a little bit better. Uh, but our execution, in, well, no doubt, no doubt. I, I mean, we, we made plays. We had two runs. We had two runs, uh, one to get us a little lead, and then they cut it back to five or three, and, uh, and we hit a couple big shots. Uh, late uh, to get it back up to six or eight and then for the most part hit our free throws late uh, did a pretty good job of contesting threes it's just an effort win uh, you know we, we we worked hard on the boards we worked hard defensively uh, you know hold them to 42 percent is an accomplishment because they're a great shooting team to hold them to 13 percent from the three-point line is an accomplishment because they're a great shooting team and and uh, and then we we just gutted it out. And uh, sometimes you win like that. It, confidence are, is a real tricky thing with a young team. It's and and uh, you know you you look out there and I look out there and for portions of the game, large portions of the game, we got four freshmen out there. Sure. And so you know they're not you know, they're not as sure of themselves as they will be this time next year. I mean Jeremy Sexton didn't look like the best freshman in the league, and uh, I still think he's the best freshman in the league. He just didn't look like it tonight, and that's okay. It's okay. He's played so well for us. You, we, you know their freshman year, they're going to have games like that. Sure. And, uh, and, and that's why we had to, it's a gut win. It was a gut out win. Kelvin Martin is a warrior. He's an absolute warrior. Uh, we, couldn't, we, couldn't, we wouldn't be where we are today without him. He, he just keeps us in games with his defense. He can guard any position, one through four. He rebounds the ball as well as anybody in our league and is just an absolute warrior. Uh, I wouldn't trade him for anybody. On the offensive side, UNC Asheville looked much different than the team that played Sunday against Bradford. In that game, especially in the second half, they were hot from three-point range. They were knocking them down. They finished the game with 92 points tonight, just 54. What did you do defensively? I know you talked about how pleased you were with the effort, but, but what did you guys do defensively that took Asheville out of their game, especially their perimeter game? Well, we switched the ball screens, one through four. And, uh, and, and then we got out and, and got out and contested shots. I mean, we, we put a hand up and contested shots. And um, they're so hard to guard. And we knew we were going to have to, our bigs were going to have to move their feet. They're going to have to get out on the perimeter and, and, and guard guards. And uh, from, for a large portion of the game, you know, they got Cunningham and four guards in or Williams in and four guards in. Right. And, and our guys did that. Zimmy Wobo got out and, and guarded guards. Uh, uh, Billy got out and moved his feet. Kenny moved his feet, and um, and um, we just we did a great job of, of guarding guarding their what they do best, which is spread the floor and drive. Bucks are back at 500, and perhaps most importantly, gained an entire game on UNC Asheville, one of those teams that was ahead of them in the conference standings. Coach Barkley, Radeball, always a pleasure to talk to you after the game, and we'll see you Saturday. Sounds great.